there. I, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. Let's yeah. uh, see what we do. Hey everybody, welcome back to Boss and the Bear. I'm Jocelyn the Boss. And I'm the Bear. And we're playing Sonic Adventure. We kind of cut out in the middle of the cutscene, but like, whatever. Eggman it's mad. It's like, oh, my shit didn't work. Now I'm going to launch a missile. There's a missile. Yeah, missile yeah Eggman's pretty much right. like, well, if I can't have the city, no one can. <laughs> well, it's, it like kind of brings up, why didn't he just launch the missile before? Yeah, like, why, what's... Why always do these backup plans? What's what's his life... Like, what is Eggman's life goals? It's really hard to put him down. Right. Um, actually, <laughs> I think there's one... There's a thing here where it talks about, like, ro building Robotnik land. Okay, so he something. wants to... No, it was a he wants dog. to, like, make, make <laughs> his own uh, amusement park goof. or something. Yeah. Which, ex which actually explains a lot of, like, the Sonic aesthetic. Mm-hmm. With, like, like, the pinball shit right, all right, over right. the place. Because Eggman's trying to... So Eggman is trying to turn the world into, like, a capitalist paradise? Is that what's happening? It's... I... I... I don't remember. I seem to remember, like, it being, like, an on it, I'll build Robotnik Land, the greatest amusement park in the world, or something, or some shit so like that. So he said Okaiba. Is his whole Eggman. goal is to make an amusement park for children, even when he's being a piece of shit. All right. I'm, I'm going to trust you on that. I stopped watching Yu-Gi-Oh! in the middle of season three. Um, pretty much Seto got Seto Kaiba's goals in life are to be the best like no one ever was. Oh, God, here um, we go. And to make his little brother smile. Right. So he makes Kaiba Land, essentially, to make his little brother smile. And also kind of like as like a wish fulfillment because he had a terrible childhood, blah, 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 blah. I really like Seto Kaiba. I think he's cute. Oh, I didn't actually like get to do anything. It just like takes me right to the stage. Oh. It's a really good thing we didn't wait until the end of that cutscene. Yeah, because I would have. Well, I like. Fucked with things. Oh no, our viewers wouldn't have been able to follow the storyline. It's very intricate. You know what? There are some people who are probably super invested in the Sonic canon, and maybe they don't appreciate you making fun of them. <laughs> maybe their names are Jocelyn. Shh. No. I don't uh -uh. like Sonic. That's that's. You like Sonic. Sonic. Is, you like Sonic. You weird, yeah. I don't know. I think Sonic's nope. alright. I, I mean, love Sonic. It's, it's... I like low key love almost all of this, even the bad games. Low key. I have a very like strong affection <laughs> for. Actually, like I think I've said this before, but I'm gonna say it again. Sonic 06 remains one of my favorite games no. of all time. Not because it's good to play it, not because it's a good game, but just because like. I've gotten more amusement Ooh. out of it than just about any other game I've ever played. No. Well, yeah. You know what? Like, as if you get replay value out of it, I mean, that's better than a lot of oh, games nowadays. Oh, no, not, not replay value. Don't <laughs> misunderstand me. I've never replayed it. Uh, what I do is make other people replay it right. and laugh at their misfortune. Right. And because it's it's just one of the worst games ever. So and I'm not you gonna... make your own evil Let's Plays to watch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, I force other people to, to dance for my amusement. And dance they do. Dance they do. I have danced this dance once you before. You have. And uh, that was, yeah. One day, one day on this channel, I'm probably going to make you do the rest of it because... No. No. I'm going to do we it. We got it. We got it. She's going to make me do it. I'm we really gotta. sorry. You got to. You simply got to. We That's okay. Have to I'm gonna. It. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna make you play, but I'm gonna make you s play some sort of like really awful PS1 or two. Not awful, probably good in certain ways, but like JRPG that's overly complex and makes no sense. You know what we so should like, find? What we should like see if it's even possible to obtain the reboot PlayStation game. There's a PlayStation game. Oh no! Uh, it's what? It is extremely well known. Uh, un, uh, it's extremely not well known. It is uh. very rare, difficult to find, and the only reason I know about it is because I had a friend who rented it once. Uh huh. And we couldn't get it to work because it was a buggy piece of shit. And like, oh no. So you'd put it in the PlayStation, and nothing would happen. I think we like could hear the audio, but that oh, was it. Oh no. And uh, apparently, like, it's really hard to find, so it, you know, it might cost us some money to get. But it is totally a thing that exists, and it's probably going to be terrible. Scared. Good. I want to play that. I'm into I'm it. I'm also not I'm scared. Super into it. Uh, I can do this. 
I have my badge of courage. Yeah, it's really cute. Like, I want to put it in my hair. I, like, want to put it on a little barrette and stick it in my hair. It's really cute. That's actually what Amy ends up doing with one of her upgrade mm. things. Yeah, because Amy's adorable and the best. Not actually. She's kind of the worst, but that's okay. I, I like her design. Her. I really like uh, Amy's design. Yeah. And just in general, most of the older Sonic characters have great design. Yeah. Because, like... Knuckles is a good character design. Tails is a good character design. Like, they just, like, they have good silhouettes that are recognizable, and, like, the color schemes are nice. And well, it's been talked about that, like, Sonic's whole thing was, like, making a character design that was meant to be as Mickey Mouse-like as possible. Yeah. Um, and actually, like, his first code name was Mr. Needle Mouse. <laughs> yeah, that was like uh, the code name for the game because oh like gosh. they came up with the design long before they came up with like any actual gameplay elements. Yeah, and they were just like, yeah, this blue hedgehog, good looking, looks like Mickey but cooler. Well, it was it was meant to be iconic and it worked. It was like yeah. for, at a time it was even more well well known around the world than Mickey Mouse according to surveys and shit. I would believe that. So, yeah. This is the last boss, by the way. Oh, wow. Um, so I guess this episode's probably going to run a little bit long so we can get through mm. the Tails ending cutscenes. Oh, yeah. Way. I know. I want to fly. That's really all I yeah, know. Yeah, more Boston Bear season. karaoke hour. Yeah. Oh I still God. know the whole thing. Of course. And I do. did it. Yay. Yay. Cool. That, that felt epic to you, didn't it? Just Yeah, that was just like, wow, end of, end of a fucking era. Oh, we didn't get to do the thing I wanted to do. What do you want to do? Uh, well, maybe we can make that our karaoke <gasps> hour instead of this. We'll just sing it over top of these <laughs> credits. I wanted to sing a song, and I don't have the lyrics in front of me. Hold on a second. While this is playing out, you guys can just all enjoy this cutscene while I, I find it. some lyrics. Um, I love these anime polygon models. Um, they're just delightful. There's something really delightful about, like, the old school, like, 80s anime, like, kind of how, like, Ash is drawn and how all of those little anime people are drawn with, like, the really oblong eyes and, like, all of the pupil. Nothing circles. Everything's, like, ridiculously long kind of, like, oval shapes. You know what sure. I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm saying. I know, I know what, what saying. you're saying. I just yeah. uh, am. It's like the kind the of thing. anime that I started drawing when I was like six, and I was like, I want to draw the Sailor Moons. Um, like how, like the anime that they teach you to draw in like the how to draw anime books and manga books from like. I never really stores. got those. Like, I don't know. I feel like you should just learn how to draw and then let your style kind of come out of that but then I say that as like a person who's never drawn before in my life mm. um it really the most important things that I got from that were like the idea of heads tall of like you know yeah, yeah, yeah. six heads tall six and a half heads tall like and you can see like here three heads tall. Tails is three heads tall yeah because it's his head and then and another the one's head and then another one in his head yeah that's some awesome I love it when they right try there. to limp sync. It's just like, it's not good. It doesn't work <laughs> at all. They, they really had no idea what they were doing. Yeah! I wanna fly! Okay, I got it. Oh, no, I don't. This has more lyrics. Damn it! Ah, oh, never mind. I'm sad Is now. It, was it the song? I'm looking for it, but uh, not this I'm song. I'm not gonna remember the words. Yeah, I was, I was gonna see if I could find it, and then we could just... Ah, whatever. whatever. We'll do it some other time. It's okay. It's okay. When I'm alone in my bed, I just go about dreaming. I want to be cool. I don't remember any of this stuff um, that it's showing in the background. I don't fucking know any of it. That's, that's the casino level. That I can tell you. I can, like, sit here and... Because <laughs> I kind of just blew right through this. The Tales campaign is, like, pretty... Well, they're all pretty short, yeah. but the Tales is even shorter because it's based around, like, racing. Mm. So, by design, you're going through the levels as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. So there really isn't much time to, like, sit and absorb it. But, like, part of it, too, is that um, the absorption of these levels comes from minutes upon minutes of dying over and over and over again. <laughs> and, like, that's how you really learn what they're all about. Yeah. But, like, because <laughs> I've, I'm have i still, like, playing through my muscle memory of this game. Oh, my God. Um, It really doesn't 
15 work years later, for me. 20 years later. How old is this game? 98. I got this game Christmas of 1999. It is now a little after, um, a little after the Valentine's Day of 2017. So it's been like around 17 years and a few months. 17 and a half years. Yeah. So it's almost legal. But like, <laughs> we're playing on on like my old Dreamcast save file. Uh, one of the backups, anyway. And, like, you can see that I have, like, 100 and, 130 hours logged into Jocelyn. this game, actually. Jocelyn, no. Because I was... I didn't have a lot of games growing up. And so, like, the games that I had, I just, like, play to mm. ridiculous completion. Right. Because, like, what... Like, I'm, I'm reading all of these voice actors. These aren't voice actors. This, oh, is, this, this is the band. Oh, this is the band. Yeah. No, when we get to the voice actors, that's much later. Voice actors. Uh, June Senoue, he does like most of the rock anthems for mm -hmm. Sonic. I love those, Japanese by the way. Japanese character voices. They still they still use the same guy for Sonic, I think. Yeah? Japan. That's cute. English character voices. All those people have been replaced. Some of them have even died. Oh, well, that's sad. People die. I hate that. I think but... we might have mentioned this in the first episode, but like the voice actor for Eggman in these games passed away at some point oh that's really sad he, he was the only one who felt like he was actually having fun he was he's phenomenal yeah. in these games actually and that was another thing too is like this the classic adventure actors i was talking yesterday about how they were kind of the d-list of voice actors mm. not it was two days ago now mm -hmm. anyway um but like they really did come into the roles the ones that came back you know yeah. for later games uh ryan drummond especially like he really did well with the Sonic role, Sonic mm -hmm. character, as time went on. Yeah. But, like, unfortunately, this was not the case for this game, and they, like, I'm pretty sure most of the line reads are, like, first take or whatever. Yeah, they were just like, shit, 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 let's rush through this. Let's get well, this like, done. they didn't really care. It was just, like, they thought the novelty of a voice-acted Sonic game would be enough yeah. to, like, boy everything. Because this was kind of still at the beginnings of... Uh, voice action, voice acting in video games, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. Um, yeah, like the advent of uh, CD-based hardware was sort of the thing there. Like mm -hmm. it was FMV for a while, and then like oh, actually that's expensive and looks like crap. So, yep. <laughs> but hey, voice acting is cool. Why don't we do more of that? Right. And uh, like Star Fox 64 was on the scene, and everyone loved that, and that had like widespread voice acting everywhere. Mm. So and now here we are, many years later, and voice acting just like all all the games, every game. Well, yeah, it's it's like people criticize Zelda's these days because they're not voice acted, except mm. for Breath of the Wild will be. It's the first one of its kind, and like people are wondering, you know, is Link gonna have a lot of lines, or <gasps> is, is there gonna a be voice like voice actor for Link? Hey, sure. Hey. So I'm not gonna get yeah. started on Knuckles. We'll just call that the episode. Yeah. So until next time, I'm Jocelyn the Boss. And I'm the Bear. See you next time. See you. Boss and the Bear.